It's it. cold. It's cold. It's it is cold, cold standing over it is here. Got, well, there's some ice around here. All right, so we start with the challenge. So here's mm -hmm. what's fun for the kids after dinner. You just fill a glass with ice. Right. And then you say to the kids, I want you to pick up a piece of ice, but you're only allowed a piece of string. So you see the string that's over there? Grab yes. the string. So okay. you cut them off a little piece of string, and you say you can only use a piece of string, string. to pick up the ice. You can't tip the cup over. You can't touch the ice. Okay. What are you going to do? All right? So it's a classic little experiment. Let me show sure. you what the secret is, and then I'm going to show you what the science is kind of behind okay. it. First of all, the secret is this. You take the string, and you dip it in water first. So we have ah, a wet string. Okay. Okay, so that's so number one. So now we dangle this down, so we kind of put it over here like this, and we put it right over the top. Uh-huh. Okay? And now the second part is... It, um, sitting right in front of you, it's that salt. We all know that salt melts ice, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to learn a little bit why. And this is a weird kind of little piece, and so we don't have to have a lot. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little. little bit on there, and hopefully that'll be just enough. And in fact, let's do one right out here so we can kind of see it this way as well. Here and now, we're going to let that sit here for just a second, and hopefully by the very end, we will have uh, we'll have our, our magic. It's happen, better to let right? it sit for a little bit. Yeah, you yeah, got to okay. it, let, it, let it sit for a second. So we'll try one just kind of right Wet here, string. and we'll see if that kind of works as well. So here. Here's the secret. Salt melts ice because salt dissolves in water so easily. So uh -huh. if I had an example here of a sodium ion and a chloride ion, that's sodium chloride, they kind of sit together as this little molecule, but they break apart pretty easily. And so that's what happens that's in the cool. water, is it just kind of, you now it wants to be together, but they'll break apart, apart. And when it breaks apart like this, it dissociates and it confuses the water molecules so they can't freeze as easily. Ah. Bingo. So if we can confuse them, then all of a sudden it melts. Now here's the piece that I, that I wanted to show you, and why not make it really big? So here, uh, kind of look over here. bigger is better. Because, well, look at this. Now we have large string and a large block of ice. Big right? ice piece of ice. So you can kind of see what happens here, is that the top it's, melts. Right. All right? And the string kind of goes down just a little just bit, a, and then, believe it or not, a little fresh water comes to the very uh, top, and it freezes over once again. So if we're lucky, we should be able to just pick up <gasps> ah, the ice cube. Now, that. this was pretty easy here. Let's see if there was enough here. Uh, we try one of these? One? I tried this one just a little bit earlier. So let's see if we have any success on this one here. <gasps> there, there we you go. go. So we've picked Look up the ice up cube with no stick. problem at all. And you can kind of see what's happening here is it's kind of remelting there. You can yeah, see just a little bit trying. on the edge there. So it's trying. <gasps> and there you go. I think you, oh, dun, would dun, you look at this? You've got it. But here's the thing that we have to kind of uh, to know, especially from a science standpoint. Why is it that if you put uh, salt on the roads, why doesn't it just dissolve and then just freeze over again? And that's because we have some heat there from the roads as uh, well. And, and salt, traffic. sodium chloride, and we don't use that in Colorado. You, we use something called magnesium chloride right. or mag chloride. Mag chloride will now uh, melt on a little bit lower condition. So uh, salt is only good for about 15 degrees Fahrenheit, but magnesium chloride looks something like this. You have two, so you have two chlorides and one magnesium. So now when this dissociates like this, it really confuses the water. So mag chloride's a whole lot better. But if you want something that's even better than that, and tonight it's gonna get super, super cold, we would try something like calcium chloride. So that's uh, what this is. Okay. And watch this, uh, grab the bag that's okay. right here. And I'm going to pour a little bit of water in here, and you can feel it. Uh, calcium chloride is the same thing that they use as, as pickle brine. But feel this, Kim. I know that you're you're uh, cold over here. Put your hands on the bottom and feel this. <gasps> Warm. It's, oh, it's, it's like a hand warmer. It's exactly right. Uh. So this will go down to about minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. The problem with calcium chloride is it's really corrosive, so it kind of ruins yeah. the concrete and so, so forth. But if so. we had to do something where we had to uh, to that make sure it. that we melt it that way, that would be the way to do it. Magnesium chloride or just good old salt about that, about 10 degrees below zero.